Okay, I went to see the doctor about my hands. <clears throat> this one's still sticking. Now I can pull this forward and it'll go like snap and it'll feel like somebody popped me with a rubber band right in there. It's funny, I can hear my voice echoing through all these banjos in here. But if I, if I kind of pull it down a little and just slowly, slowly, slowly let it come out, I can get it straight. Once it's straight, it'll stay straight unless I bend it too far that way. That's an update on my hands. I'm on <clears throat> day two of prednisone. Prednisone. Is that right? I think that's right. Uh, and it felt a little easier this morning. Doesn't hurt as bad as it did yesterday. So I'm trying to do a few things with it, but this finger might get in the way from time to time. What I have with me right here is the Clifton, no, the Noah Klein number 66 banjo. This is the mountain banjo made by Noah Klein. Now this is a good little banjo. Um, I like to play it. Uh, I'm not saying it's the finest banjo. I've got Gibsons and Fairbanks and Vegas and I got a lot of banjos, but this one is just made by a guy and it sounds pretty good. It's fretless, uh, which makes it pretty simple because you don't have to lay out all them frets, which are, which are psychologically confusing to some banjo players. These pegs, these tuning pegs, are little carved out pieces of wood and you can turn them but you have to, if you're gonna tighten them, you have to push them in because the only thing, the only mechanism there is there, that's a hole, that's a piece of wood, a piece of wood stuck in a hole. And you, uh, it's a little bit narrower on one end than the other and you have to push it in a little bit to get it to not turn. That is uh, okay and it's how a lot of banjos were done down through the centuries. Well, maybe not centuries, it could have been centuries. But at a certain point, somebody started trying to come up with a easier kind of ped mechanism and so uh there's a lot of stuff like let's see if i got one so let's see if i got any any old old friction style see that's a that first friction style is generally ju ju absolutely just wood against wood uh, but then later they came out with different pegs now these ones right here for example these ones are geared pegs. So if you put that in the hole, that's got these little gears uh, built into it. And that works, that works good, but it's heavy-ish, and I wouldn't really want any of that heavy on that banjo. I'd rather have something else. Now this is a fifth string peg right here. I might use that one right there. Uh, but we also have uh, pegs that are friction pegs, but it's not it's not um, friction against wood. It's not wood against wood. It's it's a peg that's made to be installed. Let me turn you all around this way. See, this is an old style friction peg, like off a violin. This was this is ebony, which is a really good hard wood. Um, these are I don't know some kind of little cheap toy. But this is a this is a, a friction peg where. Instead of having the wood against the wood, the friction is inside this shaft, and there's a nut here that you can tighten. So if I had uh, if I had four of these, and these are pretty old right here, one, two, three, four. I got four, and then I've got some of these black ones. So between the between the two, if I can find four of one or the other that work, I could put those four in here in place of what we got in here now. So, how to do that? Well, it's not that hard. First thing we're gonna do, y'all see me there? Right there? Mm, it's not the very best shot. Let me get you a little, see if I can get you a little closer. Even a little closer. Yeah, that's pretty close right there. You're in front of me. Maybe I can work that way. So I'm just gonna unloosen this one. This one is the... So that's the four string right there. So I'm just gonna take it off of there. There. And now, I'm just gonna let that scooch over yonder ways. And I'm gonna take this apart. Now see, this is, this is cracked right here, but that might still work. We'll see. I might have to replace that with one of these others, but we'll see. 
The way this works is that, see this part, there's two washers there. I want one on each side. So this part going here, and then this part, we'll go down here. We'll see if we can get that to go inside there. Yeah, and then we put this part in here. And then we turn this screw right here. I'm gonna need a little screwdriver. I think I've got one in my leather man. Here's one. I don't know if this one's little enough. What are we doing? Yeah, I think this one will do. We'll see if that will hold. I'm going to tighten this up here. And when I do, see that becomes a little bit hard to turn. And it's not wood scrubbing against wood. It's the mechanism inside of this. Now what I can do is take this string and put it right back on there where it was. like that and I'm just going to turn this and okay you notice this is turning and this ain't so so something ain't making connection in there so it could be that this neck here is too too fat for this peg it might be It might have something to do with this being broke. See, this is this is shaped as a square here. See that peg head is square, and one side broke off it. So let's take and grab. Well, let's just grab another one here, and we'll try it on. If it works, then we'll know that we don't have to find a whole other peg. All we got to do is find one of these where this ain't broken. We'll take that off of there. Well, that one's broke a little bit too. Looky there. It might not work neither. I don't think it will. So, I think what it is is this hole from here to there is too this needs to be narrower for that one to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this back on that, put that other one back on that other one. We're going to looking for some different pegs to put up here. Now I do have some a different style of geared pegs that I may wind up using. I was hoping to use this style. These aren't geared pegs, but I was hoping to use this style of friction peg. But that ain't come along so great so far. So. I'm going to put this back over here. Let's see what else we can find. Now this is the other kind of geared peg I was talking about. This is where the gear it's actually an, an, an L-shaped gear. There's a little screw gear right here. You'll be able to see when I take this cover off. And it, it comes up through here, and you bolt it to the back side under here. Um, this hole is too big for that, so if I was going to do that, I would need to put something in that hole. Sometimes you can find something like an old 
little piece of plastic pipe to fit down in there, a little old ink pen, plastic ink pen that size you can nibble off a piece of. Uh, let's see what else I got for pegs though. I might have something else better. So I'm going to borrow one of these geared pegs off of this old neck. Let's see if it'll work. Okay, so those will not fit the hole. They probably would work if I was willing to drill the hole out a little bigger. Mm. Of course, like I said, they got a little weight to them. So I've got a choice between this and one of these. These are lighter. On these, I'd have to fill the hole. On these, I'd have to drill a hole. I don't think I want to drill a hole in that. Um, I, I like the idea that I could you know, put it back to the way it is without having made any changes to it. So. I'm gonna stick this one back on this piece of that. And we'll, uh, this has a little pin in it. Maybe there's a little hole made for it in here somewhere. So I'm just gonna slide this back in place. Oh yeah, might not hurt if I didn't put it on upside down, eh? That'd be just like an old 63 of Tala Chevy. Um, 60s, uh, what's his name? Wayland Wire. Wayland Wire. He'd be laughing at me if he saw me put that on backwards. He'd, he'd, make, a, he'd make a little special video. He'd go, har, har, har. Look at our peak. Putting his neck hecky on backwards. Yeah, he would. Bless his heart. We pick on each other, though. It reminds us that we're still alive. Okay. What other option do I have? Well, I seem to recall seeing <clears throat> that I had some actual ebony tumors in here. I wonder. No, I won't make it too, too small. I think one of them might be better. So it looks like my best bet if I'm going to do this is to use one of these. In order to do that, I'm going to have to find what would be ideal would be a little piece of plastic pipe just big enough to slip over that that I could cut and insulate that and put these on like this. I am going to look around, see what I can find. And once I find what I'm looking for, I'll come back and we'll, uh, we'll finish that up. Cold joy. I'll just leave these out. I guess if I hadn't disabled that banjo, I could do a little, a little play. Um, I, I did play. I think I told you I got, I'm on like my second day of pro, pro project pro zone something. Uh, but I was able to play a little banjo this morning, even with my bad finger. But I didn't play much. I got a banjo here. <laughs> It would be, you could try it. That's one of them big old Johnny, one of them long neck Johnny Hartford banjos. Trails. 
I guess I could give you a little update on this building that I've been working on. While my hands was bad, I put that floor down there because that felt mostly like work I could do without having without hurting my hands. <clears throat> uh, I've been I've been designing in my head a building a roof and how I want the roof to go. Whether I want to go like this or like this or like this, you know. Thinking about a lot of different possibilities, I've got some. Uh, Yeah, I've got some, I've got some things I could use for a roof, but I'm going to have to think on it. I'm going to have to think on it a little bit to figure out which, what shape I'm going to make. So, yeah, rain today. It's going to rain tomorrow. Car show starts tomorrow night up my island. They're going to have a band. I might, I might just spend it on the weather. Go up there early for that, but then again... If it's raining, I'll go Saturday for sure. Cause we'll kind of go rain or shine because I think it's supposed to end on Saturday if it's raining. Oh, the joy. Still being a little careful with my hands, you know. And I'll, I can drive a car to a car show, though. Yes, I can.